Automotive computer systems use an oxygen sensors in the exhaust system to measure the oxygen content of exhaust gases. The oxygen sensor is typically installed in the exhaust manifold or positioned downstream from the manifold in the exhaust pipe, directly in the path of the exhaust gas stream, where it monitors oxygen levels in both the exhaust and ambient air. A zirconia oxygen sensor is made of zirconium dioxide, an electrically conductive material that generates a small voltage in the presence of oxygen. A conventional zirconia oxygen sensor can only determine whether the exhaust gas is richer or leaner than the stoichiometric ratio of 14.7.1. As a result, a conventional oxygen sensor is often referred to as a narrowband sensor, which informs the powertrain control module, PCM, about the richness or leanness of the exhaust. The voltage value at which a zirconia oxygen sensor transitions from a rich mixture to a lean mixture, or vice versa, is 0.45 volts. A voltage above 0.45 volts indicates a rich mixture, while a voltage below 0.45 volts indicates a lean mixture. A typical zirconia oxygen sensor features a sensing element shaped like a thimble. Therefore, it is often referred to as a thimble design, cup design, or finger design. A typical zirconia oxygen sensor has a heater located within the thimble, which does not make contact with the interior of the sensor. There are two porous platinum electrodes and an electrolyte. The electrolyte is solid and is composed of zirconium dioxide, each serving distinct functions. The exhaust side electrode is exposed to the exhaust stream, while the ambient side electrode is exposed to the surrounding air and functions as the signal electrode, also called the reference electrode. The electrolyte, zirconia, can conduct electrons in the following manner. When the exhaust is rich, Oxygen from the reference electrode flows toward the exhaust side electrode, generating a voltage. Conversely, when the exhaust is lean, the flow of oxygen is unnecessary. Consequently, there is minimal, if any, electron movement, resulting in no voltage production. If the exhaust contains very little oxygen, the powertrain control module assumes that the intake charge is rich, indicating an excess of fuel, and reduces fuel delivery. Conversely, when the oxygen level is high, the PCM assumes that the intake charge is lean, indicating insufficient fuel and increases fuel delivery. An oxygen sensor requires a temperature of approximately 300 degrees Celsius to generate a voltage signal. During cold engine operation, or when the oxygen sensor output is outside of acceptable limits, the powertrain control module uses pre-recorded data for fuel control in open loop mode. The heater circuit in conventional oxygen sensors requires between 0.8 and 2.0 amperes, maintaining the sensor at approximately 315 degrees Celsius. There are several different designs of oxygen sensors, including 1. One-wire oxygen sensor. The single wire of the one-wire oxygen sensor serves as the oxygen sensor signal wire. The ground for the oxygen sensor is provided through the shell and threads of the sensor, as well as through the exhaust manifold. 2. Two-wire oxygen sensor. The two-wire sensor consists of a signal wire and a ground wire for the oxygen sensor. 3. Three-wire oxygen sensor. The three-wire sensor design incorporates an electric resistance heater to help raise the oxygen sensor temperature more quickly and maintain the sensor at operating temperature, even at idle speeds. The three wires include the oxygen sensor signal, power for the heater, and ground. 4. Four-wire oxygen sensor. The four-wire sensor is a heated oxygen sensor that includes an oxygen sensor signal wire and a signal ground. The other two wires provide power and ground for the heater.